Hello, cool Nerds, it's Pablo here and welcome back to Bass Universal and welcome back to a brand new news video on the channel. I thought after so much has gone on in the past weeks after Laporta's arrival, it's fair to say there has been a lot and a lot of news regarding sales, regarding signings, regarding Messi, new managers, who's staying, who's going, what's the sport team going to look like, all of that sort of stuff. You know, there's been loads and loads of news. I probably won't even be able to cover it all in today's video, but certainly over the next few weeks, especially over the international break, I do want to cover all the news for you guys, give my opinion on it also and basically just round everything up in a digestible manner because to be fair we've got loads to discuss so let's just get straight on with it and i actually want to quickly touch here on the messy situation i'm sure you guys all saw the news this morning very reliable journalist marcelo benchle actually came out with some news and he actually broke the news that neymar was leaving barcelona that messi was going to leave barcelona last summer of course that didn't happen in the end but he was basically spot on on these sorts of things and again today guys he said look around this time i'm going to be bring bring you guys some bombath on news basically so some big bomb news on on Messi and on Barcelona and stuff like that so we were all basically eagerly anticipating that situation it came out and his news was it was pretty dim in the end it was essentially just saying PSG have the finances and the resources to sign Lionel Messi they're confident they can do it they think they'll sign Messi for free in the summer and while saying on this Messi situation is this look Messi we know he kind of wants to leave Barcelona but Ever since Laporta got elected, we saw Messi himself even went to the voting stations and voted for Laporta. It's becoming more and more likely that Messi can stay at Barcelona. And what I'll say is this, any reports you kind of hear now, they're not all that true because Messi himself hasn't actually decided whether he's staying or going yet. He'll wait for Laporta's offer. He will listen to Laporta first. Alemani will sit down with both of them as well. Jorge Messi, Messi's father, will be there too. Laporta will present Messi with a sporting project. He'll say, this is what's going to happen. This is what we can give you. And then Messi will make the decision. That will come later on. Laporta isn't even in office yet. So Messi right now, no decision will be made. We know Man City. We know PSG will be close to the deal. But Messi will listen to Laporta first and then he'll make his choice. Nothing Nothing is decided yet. We can't say whether he'll stay or whether he'll go yet. I still definitely think he's more likely to stay now that Laporta has been elected. But again, we just don't know. So we've got to wait basically on that one. And that's what I want to say on the Messi situation. But now let's actually jump into the video and let's go on to the main stuff I wanted to talk about today because there is a lot. And what I'll say, guys, is that now Laporta is the new president. That does mean a change to the way transfers are done. We've got some new names basically you guys need to get accustomed with in regards to Barcelona transfers. The one being Matteo Alemani. This guy is essentially going to be the head of our sport project he's going to be the one you guys need to know who's responsible for forming the team for next season he's going to be accompanied by men such as George Lee Cruyff perhaps even a potential sporting director in the summer such as a Ralph Ragnick a Mark Overmars that sort of person and for me this is all really good news we've now got people we can trust in important decisions and I thought it was relevant to mention that in a news video about Laporta signings to mention someone like Alemani he was going to have a really really important role regarding Barcelona signings now and also our sales and essentially the way the team looks next season which is what we're all really interested in so let's kick start straight away and give some names give some insight into them and it start of course with Eric Garcia this is the guy who we've of course known for some time now will become a Barcelona player we don't know when that'll be made official but next season Barcelona will be having Eric Garcia he will be joining for free he will be a Barcelona player in the summer and he could even be the first signing of Jean Laporta's second stint in charge of the club so look at Eric Garcia for me it's a good signing it's a good addition for free he's a great young Spanish centre-back and we do wish him all the best so Eric Garcia one of many free signings that Barcelona could be getting this summer does look like he's going to be a Barcelona player we can essentially confirm that Next up is going to be another defender in David Alaba. For me, a really, really interesting situation. I'm sure all of you guys want to know the ins and outs on this deal. Now, we all know Alaba is leaving Bayern Munich in the summer. Again, another free agent. So, one of many guys, free agents this summer. Loads of deals going around. And essentially, Alaba, for me, is going to be joining either Real Madrid or Barcelona. He wants to play in Spain. He wants to be an important player for one of these two clubs. And I'm sure many of you guys have seen Real Madrid have been negotiating with Alaba for some months now. They even had a verbal agreement with Alaba, but nothing has been officially signed yet, which for me is certainly interesting. Now, what you guys need to know about this situation is that Pini Sahavi, who's Alaba's agent, is actually a really good friend with Jean Laporta and has actually been waiting for Laporta to be elected as the Barcelona president. And for me, this further proved the excellent relationship that Laporta has with top agents around the, uh, around the world for top footballers also. And that's certainly going to be useful for us in the future. And I think Laporta's election on its own does make this Alaba race so much more interesting. And that on top of the fact 
fact that Real Madrid now are probably going to renew the contract of Sergio Ramos. They're probably going to try and renew the contract of uh, Rafael Varane too. They've got Casemiro, Cruz and Modric in midfield. Valverde, they're coming through. Where does Alaba really fit in? Now, I'm not saying Barcelona are going to be able to hijack this deal off Real Madrid, but I think it's certainly something to look out for. It'd be a typical statement from Laporta, and I honestly do think it's something for you guys to watch out for. Real Madrid are far ahead in this race. They've had an agreement with Alaba for a while now. He's a top player. He would come for free. It would be a good sign for whoever gets him. But you've got to say, with Laporta back, with Real Madrid perhaps just slowly edging out of the race, the relationship Laporta has with his agent, Pini Zahavi, it's something really to watch out for. It'd be a big reinforcement for Barcelona. It'd be a big statement from Laporta to snatch him off our rivals, Real Madrid. And you've got to say also, it would enforce our sporting project to help Lionel Messi stay. So what I'll say on the Alaba situation is, look, he may not go to Barcelona, but I definitely think now more than ever, it's one to look out for. Let's now move further up the pitch and onto Sergio Aguero, someone who I'm sure you guys have already heard about. I think this is a really, really interesting proposition. Aguero, like Garcia, like Alaba, would be coming for free for Barcelona. And for me, guys, I think this could be a massive part of Laporta's sporting project in order to keep Lionel Messi at the club. I don't honestly think the Aguero transfer is something that's definitely going to happen 100%. I do honestly think that, first of all, Laporta is going to try and see if he can get Erling Haaland, which, by the way, also watch out for with Laporta back at the club. All of a sudden, we become a side that can compete for the top signings in Europe. We have a great team behind us. And I think we are certainly in the race for Haaland's signature, even though it will be a really, really hard transfer to complete. But regarding Aguero, guys, of course, it would be a free transfer. I definitely think it would help convince Lionel Messi to stay. And if we are unable to get someone like Haaland, I do think, look, watch out for Aguero. Watch out for even Memphis Depay should Koeman remain as the coach. I definitely think Barcelona are going to be looking around for these sorts of players. And I honestly do think that's something that Laporta and Alemani are working on. I do think the new rumours are true. And again, in March, it's hard to say whether this will or will not happen. But I definitely think, guys, like I said, that Aguero is on Barcelona's list. And he could perhaps come to the club in the summer. Another piece of news I wanted to chuck in actually regarding transfers is actually going to be all about the importance of La Masia. Because whilst, yes, I do think Laporta will sign players. Eric Garcia, I think he'll bring in. I certainly think he'll sign a striker, at least one, perhaps even Alaba, maybe even a left-back such as Gaia. I also think Laporta is going to be trying to sell a lot of players like Coutinho, Martin Braithwaite, Junior Firpo, Umtiti, Pjanic, maybe even Antoine Griezmann. And I honestly do believe, guys, that a chunk of our squad are going to be sold. But the point I wanted to make is that I do think most of our squad next season, it could be made up of La Masia Laporta and his board, a huge Corifistas. That, for me, is something massively forgotten about. And they are huge, huge fans of La Masia. They really trusted it more than anyone else, you've got to say, when they were in charge in their first stint at the club. And I want to say they expect many, many more La Masia products to be trusted in the coming years. We're already seeing this year. We've had so many players coming up from the academy, and I expect even more guys in the future. Conrad, Balde, Nico Gonzalez, you've got Jandro Rayana, Elix Moriba we've seen come up, Alex Collado, someone really to watch out for a top player for me, Arnal Comas in defence, Arnal Tenas in goal. There are just so, so many. And I think a perfect example of the effect that Laporta and his board could have at the club is essentially the signing of Gino Wijnaldum, which again, like Alaba, like Aguero, like Garcia, I think he was someone on our list. I think Koeman does like the guy, but now with Elix Moriba, we're going to be trusting him instead of Wijnaldum. I don't think Wijnaldum's going to be signed. And I think that is another interesting piece of news to drop in this news video. Watch out for La Masia, as well as some other smart signings, perhaps a Haaland, perhaps a left back. I definitely think La Masia is going to be trusted more. To round up then, guys, there honestly is so, so much to talk about right now. There is loads and loads of news. I haven't even been able to cram it all into this video. I'm sorry about that. I want to definitely do more of these in the future, because right now with Laporta as the president, there's so much news regarding Messi, regarding transfers, Koeman, new coaches, signings, sales, La Masia, our sporting directors, all of that sort of stuff. There are so many massive topics right now at Barcelona, so I just can't cram it all into one video, but I definitely want to in the future do way more videos in this sort of style, so I hope you guys did enjoy it. I decided to cover these topics today, basically more on signings, but I think in the future we can definitely do more on sales, more on the Messi situation, certainly on the Koeman situation, and perhaps even on Laporta's board. I briefly mentioned it at the top there about men such as Alemani, but it is something that I do think is really interesting, so I definitely want to do more videos like that in the future. But that is where I will wrap this one up. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, drop a like, leave all your thoughts down below on all of these transfers, all of these signings, all of this stuff going on at the club right now. But that's where I'll leave it, guys. I hope you did enjoy. I hope I got everything across I could, really. And goodbye.